Hi, welcome into halftime of Wofford versus Chattanooga. I'm here with sophomore Trevor Stomp. Trevor, your freshman year you were expected to be an impact player coming in, but you ended up having some injuries that ended your season for the last two years. Can you tell me about battling those injuries? Uh, I can't lie, it was pretty tough uh, battling those injuries. Uh, it was something I never experienced before. Uh, coming into college, I had never really been injured before. And uh, I really had to distance myself from the game after, uh, you know, after a surgery, I had to, you know, couldn't really do anything but walk around for about four or five months. And uh, you've you've got been injured too, so I'm sure you can attest to this. I mean, you really have to learn to kind of live without the game for a while. And then in that, I feel like I kind of just uh, realized how much passion I had for the game, and uh, I really just how much I wasn't going to take for granted being able to put that jersey on every time. So each time I go out on that court, I know it's a blessing, and uh, just being able to. Uh, put on that jersey is a special feeling. If you don't mind me asking, what were those injuries that you were battling? Uh, my freshman year, uh, I had to uh, undergo a surgery on my back. And uh, this past season, it was just a fractured ankle. So nothing too big this year. Well, they say that minor setback for a major comeback, and you have had a great season so far. You recently earned your career high against Furman, scoring 20 points. Can you tell me how it feels to come back from those injuries and do so well? Uh, it feels great to just come out and uh, help the team win after after being out for so long. Uh, um, I mean, Furman and us is a historic rivalry, and to be able to you know help the team uh, win, take some pressure off our guys like Fletch and Cam, and uh, in front of this great crowd we had last week, it was just a great feeling all around. Also, with those injuries, you've now earned a starting position on the lineup. Is that a great feeling to come back from those injuries also? Uh, yeah, it's definitely great that uh, Coach Young has that uh, trust in me to be able to, uh, you know, help lead the team to a win, and uh, hopefully I can continue to do that throughout the season. Speaking of Furman, it wasn't over a matter of rivalry, but they were ranked number one coming into the conference that game. Can you tell me how it feels for y'all's confidence building up, and also like tell me about the level of play of the SoCon so far? Uh, yeah, I mean Furman's a really good team. Uh, they've, uh, they've got a bunch of senior guys who have been uh, pretty good around here for a while now so they're uh, a senior led group and uh, ETSU is also undefeated too and I, and really uh, all around the SOCON there's no easy night. Um, anyone can beat anybody on every any given night so we really have to come ready to play every single game if we want to expect to win. You guys have had an awesome road season so far. You guys had a great win against North Carolina getting that win against them. Can you tell me if the team's mentality changes with away games or if it stays the same? Uh, I definitely think that North Carolina win, you know, gave us some uh, added confidence and going on the road. Uh, you know, you know, if we get down late in a game on the road, we can be like, you know, we've been in a much tougher environment situation before. So uh, I'd say we definitely could pull this one out then too, and uh, just really added to our confidence of where we can really walk into any game with the confidence knowing that we can win. But that doesn't take away from our preparation. I mean, we really prepared for that UNC game, and you know. I think if we can get into a routine of preparing like that for every game, then we have a chance to be do some great things. So when you're away and the crowd's cheering against you, does that affect you at all? Um, I mean, sometimes I, I, in that North Carolina game, you know, sometimes you just look around at a dead ball and see all those people, and uh, it gets a little nerve-wracking. But I mean, really, just at the end of the day, it's basketball. You know, you just kind of lay your ears back and play. So. On to a little bit of more personal information about yourself. How did you get to Watford? Like, what was your recruiting process? Uh, well, I had some, got some calls from a couple of the coaches recruiting me, and then uh, it was the year we played uh, Michigan in the NCAA tournament. So then I watched them play in the NCAA tournament with my parents, and then from then on, I uh, came down to campus my senior year, and I had a fun weekend with the with the teammates and everything, and uh, I walked out of there a terrier. If I'm correct, you're from Plainville, Plainsfield, Illinois? Plainfield, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, which is close to Chicago. Yeah. So Chicago is a big city, and Spartanburg's a smaller city. Can you tell me how it was changing from city to city? Uh, I know some of your teammates who claim Chicago wouldn't be too happy with you saying that, but uh, it was definitely a little bit of culture shock when I first came down. Like uh, One of the examples I usually tell uh, my family back home is like, uh, when I'm back home, I could be sitting on the couch, you know, want to go get some snacks at like Walmart or something, and I could be leave leave my house, get there, come back in no less than 30 minutes. Yeah. But here, it's a whole process. Like my roommates like to walk down every aisle, and it takes about 
hour and a half, two hours. So, I mean, it was definitely a little culture shock there, something to get used to. But, uh, I mean, I definitely love it out here in Spartanburg. You're a biology major, correct? Yes, <laughs> I am. What are you planning to do with that? Um, well, at the moment, I'm in one of those, you know, mid-college career crises, which I'm sure you may be able to attest to. <laughs> so, uh, I really don't know what will come of this just trying to, you know, survive each semester as we can. For sure, always. Yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite snack? Uh, snack time, I usually go with a uh, chocolate milk, you know, gains, and uh, <laughs> I like to get some sweet, you know, probably like some Starburst. What's your favorite movie? Movie, uh, Shawshank Redemption, definitely uh, have to see that one, and uh, I definitely, I'd say Shawshank Redemption and uh, Boys in the Hood, I would say. <laughs> That's a great movie. Yeah. <laughs> um, do you have any pregame rituals or pregame songs that you listen to? Uh, personally, I, I'm not a big uh, listen to music guy before the game. I just kind of like to stay, stay loose and even keeled before the game and just, you know, kind of joke around with my teammates and uh, just, you know, focus on the game at hand. And, um, but I mean, me and Fletch usually have this thing where we we like to like listen, like learn all the lyrics to a bunch of songs, and then, like, uh, I'm, you know, the song 4 a.m. by Two Chains. Yeah. Uh, so when that song comes on, we always like come up to each other and be like, "Yo, uh, Fletch, uh, what time do you usually get uh, started?" Uh, so he'll be like, "Oh, it's usually pretty early in the morning, around like you know, um, 4 a.m. is like I usually like to get started." So we like to just joke around like that and stuff before games. It's pretty fun. So that's pretty awesome. So you guys are pretty close as a team. I would say, yeah, we're all pretty close as a team. That's great. All right, finally, can you tell me something about yourself that people don't know? Um, some people may not know that uh, back in about middle school, uh, I used to make a trick like basketball and ping pong shots with my friends, and I would upload them on YouTube. And uh, they're pretty embarrassing looking back on them. You know, I had like a high-pitched voice back then, but uh, I just can't get myself to delete them because, I mean, some of the shots are pretty cool. So I might have to go watch those later tonight. Yes, you will. <laughs> Thank you, Trevor. Thank you for having me on.